all right, going to demonstrate from Scripture that faith is a free will choice, and it refutes the Calvinistic denial of free will in the context of faith, believing in the gospel, and of course, salvation. Because the Calvinists believe that God gives you the faith, and that basically, essentially what they have is they have the cart before the horse. God gives you the faith, and then, you know, he regenerates you, then he gives you the faith, essentially. I've heard Calvinists say that. Uh, so again, they have, the, they have the cart before the horse. But there's so many scriptures that, de that demonstrate faith is a free will choice. Uh, just scripture after scripture after scripture. And I'm going to show you some of these in this video right now. Some of the clear scriptures showing that not only does Jesus Christ command people to believe, showing it's a free will choice, but he also rebukes them when they don't believe, holding them accountable for their own actions. So let's get right into the scriptures. First of all, here are two verses on Jesus Christ commanding men to believe, as if they have the ability to believe, because there's no point in commanding them to believe if they have no free will to make that choice. Mark chapter 1, verse number 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. John chapter 20, verse 27. John chapter 20, verse 27. Then saith he, uh, then saith he to Thomas, Thomas, sorry, reach hither, reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Not good at reading on a computer, but notice he's rebuking him, or not rebuking him, he's telling him, uh, be, no, be faithless, believe. He's telling him, he's basically telling him, don't do this, he's admonishing him. Uh, there'd be no point in doing that if there's no free will in that context, because he's admonishing him as if he could have done the opposite and been faithless. Jesus Jesus Christ rebuked men for not believing or being slow to believe. Mark chapter 16, verse 14. Mark chapter 16, verse 14. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them for their, with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 25. Luke chapter 24, verse 25. Then said, then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. He's telling them, O oh, you're slow of heart to believe, as if they could have believed faster. And in Mark 16, he's abrading them for their unbelief, as if they could have done the opposite. Why? Because faith and belief is a free will, and he's holding them accountable for not believing, or, or being slow to believe. Jesus Christ even marveled. In instances where men did not believe after he performed miracles. Mark chapter 6, verse number 6. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. See, he's shocked at their unbelief as if they could have done the opposite, but chose not to. And of course, Matthew chapter 17, verse 17, Jesus Christ rebuked men for being faithless. Okay, Matthew chapter 17, verse 17. says then jesus answered and said o faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer you bring him hither to me see the point of rebuking them for having no faith as if they could have done the opposite it just it, it clearly demonstrates that faith is a free will choice you choose to believe Okay? God does not force you, he does not force you into salvation or force you into faith. The Calvinists deny this. They, they would say that, oh no, that's just Arminianism. And by the way, Arminianism is heresy too. Okay? Arminianism is not, the, you see, Calvinism versus Arminianism is a full, whole false dichotomy. But the fact that he's re you're reproving them and admonishing them to have faith or rebuking them for being faithless shows they could have done the opposite but had the choice and made the choice not to. See, when you're, with Calvinism, you can blame all your sins on God. You know? But with uh, the biblical doctrine of free will, you're responsible for your own actions. And we see that in these passages. He's holding them accountable for their own actions and their faithlessness. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. It is a false doctrine. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.